Okay, here's what I would have done. Bro, no one cares what you would have done. Actually, everyone cares. Welcome to Let Me Book the Territory, the podcast made for smart marks and nostalgia nerds. Brought to you by the Embrace the Turn Up Podcast Network. And now your hosts, A-Dub. B-A. E-Ray and J-Mo. <laughs> I can't even deny oh, it. Yo. No fame, Blade. Hashtag BA is Blade. <laughs> hey, man. Just don't associate me with Blade 2, Blade. We good. What? Blade 2 Blade is what? the best Blade. You mean? No, no, Blade Trinity, blade. my bad. Yeah. yeah, we don't talk about blade that. Blade Trinity. One. Yeah, we don't fuck yeah. with that Blade. Still blade 1 and 2 is cool, my bad. My apologies, Wesley. But Blade Trinity Blade got a victory over Triple H. He I got don't... a victory over Triple H before Booker T did. Oh. <laughs> I would I would yeah. uh, concede that point except for that movie does not exist. I'm still sticking with it. Blade 2, still one of the greatest movies of all time. E Ray, oh, no, it exists. He was he was fighting the Dracula dude that kind of looked like Batista. Nope. E Ray, yep, guess what? Happened. I'm nope. gonna have uh, the, during when I get my show popping. That's gonna be an episode. Definitely gonna do Blade Trinity. You gonna come on? That's gonna be your first episode. I'll, I'll be Blade silent Trinity. the whole time. Like, <laughs> I don't know this movie. I've oh, never seen know it. it. I've we never gonna, heard. We gonna, we gonna break it down. We are gonna get into it. It's like the. <laughs> If you if you if you really want to have me on for that, I will sit there and be like, you know what? I got just one phrase: a woman had fangs in her vagina, and then I'm not going to talk again. And we're not and I'm talking walking about away. Slither. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> slither. then I'm out. Yes, yeah, Slither is one of the greatest movies of all time. Yes, but I do only acknowledge two Blade movies. Next. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I respect it. I mean, well, we're recording, so whenever y'all ready to get started, I mean, you know, we can get yeah, it started. Yeah. We got a lot to talk about. No, producer Lowe just scratched this out, so it's cool. Oh, no, he got to keep some of this. Low, keep some of this. I don't know what, but keep some of it. <laughs> no, no. Scope. Keep, put this, put this in a blooper reel. Just a taste, like Pops would say. Just a taste. You can get a taste. <laughs> turn into a flip flop. Turn into a damn werewolf. Kill a wolf, bitch. What? To the oh, it was a, like God. a like a dog to the thirty fifth power. <laughs> <laughs> werewolf in, or I'll say werewolf vampire in Brooklyn. Yes, another sir. incredible movie. That one is seriously going to be reviewed on my show. Nobody ever talks movie. about that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Preach Polly, preach Polly. Yes, I love all those. I can quote some of those movies. Those are my shit. Oh yeah. Anywho. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let Me Book the Territory, one of the greatest wrestling podcasts of all time. It is I, your quasi-bad guy, the Diet Coke of Evil, the Macho Man Vandal Savage, yeah, here with uh, most of most of our, our guys today. We got the the king of the gold, I think he's representing the bloodline over here. B.A., what's good, Brody? This is Video Pie. Y'all will see Big Goldie up on the screen. But B.A.'s good, man. Living. I'm, I'm glad it feels good to be back after that uh, hiatus. I had to handle some business, quote-unquote, as I rub my hands together. It's, business has oh, been taken care of. Uh, Black IRS is back in the building. Uh, happy to be back. Um, yeah, here for it all day. Nice. And uh, by, by Big Goldie, he does mean like a life-size replica of gold dust. Just sitting behind him. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> if, <laughs> if you touch his belly, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> or it starts like, stuttering. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, wow, this is really real. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how his wife feels about that, but that's another story. We'll tap into that another day. Yeah. Uh, also, we have the resident pod god, A Dub, in the building. What up, bro? Third pod of the week. Um, e I feel like this is the real main event. You know, mm. embrace the turn up, and then we did bench flicks. But now we're here. 
because in the span of 24 hours, Whew. a lot of shit happened. Man. A lot of shit happened. I got a conspiracy theory. Oh, I can't wait. Some people wrestled, too. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Well, Pod God, take us away. Let us know where we starting today. All right, so we just going to start just like, we're going to start with the world title. We're going to start with the world title. All right. Shocking. All right. I thought we were starting. The board yeah. of the WWE is investigating the chairman, Vinny Mac, Mr. No Chance in Hell himself, Burner. for payoffs Burner. to an, a Burner. former employee Burner. in the amounts of $3 million Burner. after she had an affair with John Laurinaitis. But wait! There's more. There's more! So much more. She started as a paralegal to WWE making 100 k Apparently started an affair with Vinnie Mac, got a raise for, to 200 k And then Vinnie Mac allegedly said, it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. And dished her like Stockton to Malone to John Laura <laughs> Knight. Thousand assist. <laughs> DDP was sitting in the back. <laughs> bang! Feel the bang. And <laughs> the board is investigating. Vince has been said to be cooperating. I bet he He's is. He's apparently walking around like it's just every day as usual. He's not worried about nothing. He thinks he's Teflon. They say John Laurinaitis is about to be the fall guy. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, and I just wonder, is Michael Cole going to get on SmackDown and call Vince and John unprofessional the way they did <laughs> Sasha? Or Of course not, because they actually showed uh, up. That's why the case is open right now. <laughs> they showed they up too much, came, E. They, right, they, they showed kept up at a party. <laughs> <laughs> so much show they had to pay extra. <laughs> the the tag so, fellas, let, let, let me let me get your thoughts. B.A., I'm going to start with you, what you're done laughing. What what was your first thought when you heard the story come out? Uh, first thoughts. Um, just because I work in the financial world, I know anytime a board of directors is investigating somebody that's also on the board, no bueno, no bueno at all. Um, stock market's already rough. I'm sure WWE stock took a big, a bigger hit today. I wasn't watching it individually. I'm not a stock picker by trade. That's not what I do. I advise. So I was like, first upon hearing that, like, it's going to be smoke in the city. And then, and then the further news about the about uh, the Bella Twins' dad just in it, like just getting stepdad, stepdad. Excuse me, yeah, I don't want to put that on them. Stepdad, stepdad. Right. He was he was cheating on his wife while she was getting surgery for a brain for a brain tumor. Oh, I believe. Geez. Man, jeez, the scumbag. I, mean, See, I didn't even know that one. Jesus, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even. Oh, say, there, there, know, there's I'm levels just, to this story. It, it's got layers like just, cabbage just and what, lettuce. Just man. what I think. Like, oh man, I'm the I'm just the scumbag. Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis just comes out. <laughs> makes me feel like a born again Christian, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's my first thoughts was like it's gonna be an interesting pot today when I first saw that, and then furthermore the, the way they handled this chick and even more which i don't think i'm sure you're gonna get into dub there's even more ndas out there that vince was signing and dishing out like like john stockton in the 90s so yeah man Whew. nda city plus money and you the head of a board not good for your company so i gotta say is, is you right is your, your, your thoughts is, your, your thoughts vandal savage is this the end of vince mcmahon <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. The feds couldn't do it. You know, Dread. medical professionals couldn't do it. Rival wrestling companies couldn't do he it. He couldn't even do it. He blew himself up in kayfabe, and he's still here. <laughs> well, he's you, still you, here. Know, you know he had to come back immediately because uh, uh, that the excuse me, the one who shall not be named uh, went on a rampage, so they say. So uh, he had to come back, and I was like, "Wait, isn't Vince dead? Now he's coming back to life to memorialize somebody else?" And then immediately afterwards, never mentioned him again because he found out like, "Oh, m- more more things came out about that story." So with that said, I think Vince, um, yeah, it's, it's looking crazy out here. I I don't know what what Connecticut is like right now, but uh, <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's probably in shambles because, yeah, they between the the Vince news, 
John Laurinaitis is definitely about to catch all the fade. Like, oh, 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 I didn't even, do, I didn't do any of this. It's not my dick. It's not me. Is John Laurinaitis gonna call himself to release himself? Oh, she sucked my dick. I think oh, they go, <laughs> they go, they go pull Bruce Pritchard in for this fire. He's the new fire oh, guy man. now. Once he, once Laurinaitis <laughs> is out of here, we're no. Uh, they're gonna call. They're gonna call Johnny. Johnny Ace to um to Gorilla and then Michael P. S. Hayes is gonna fire. Listen <laughs> here, man. Michael Freebird Rule says. Getting fired by Michael P. S. Hayes is nuts. While he's yeah. wearing a, a pink sequence jacket and some leather pants. Yeah, it's wild. It's definitely a top man pack. wearing silk pants about to fire me. John no, Laurinaitis is definitely on Bad Street. Man, yeah he is. Bad Street USA, so, baby. While the story is very serious, can I tell you guys the funniest part about it to me? Um, there was someone in the wrestling Twitterverse who added Dave Meltzer to ask if the Wall Street Journal was a reputable source. Oh, wow. That's wrestling Twitter for you right there. <laughs> that's, how, that's how deep some of them are in. Wait, that's funnier than thinking about Vince and Johnny Ace like making a tag team belt. That's nasty. That's just nasty. Or slapping high five. That's just Eiffel nasty. Tower. Right. Never mind. Let me stop. Eiffel it. Tower. <laughs> the Tower of Power. I mean, it was crazy that Vince did this at seventy three. The man squats a thousand pounds. For him to want to get his rocks off shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. That's man, all I'm I was gonna say he 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 didn't need to squat that much that evening. But either, either neither here nor there. Oh, it's here and there. That's the problem. How, it's I mean, everywhere. <laughs> I think that they have, have. What about the elephant in the room here, fellas? Johnny Laurinaitis. <laughs> or the, don't talk you about women like who, that way, B. <laughs> B. You mean like who leaked? You mean like who leaked this information to the board, and why was it Nick Khan? Um, uh, a good question. But I was going to ask, what about the lady in the background, the politician, Linda McMahon? Like. What? Oh, <laughs> e Ray almost died <laughs> off of that question, but yes, Linda McMahon, poor Linda, out here. She's got a whole playbook about how to handle sexual scandals. Oh yeah, come on, let's be real here. She got yes, from- she's from. Is she from the same political party as Anthony Weiner? <laughs> <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump. Donald Melania, Trump. That, come on that now, dude who couldn't keep his dick in his pants? Yes, not Trump. Yeah, the other guy. they got a playbook. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm just. This is on. This is on like page seven, ba. Right, facts. Yeah, I mean, rich, rich white guy playbook. How to how to be a player with rich white guys instead of Bill Bellamy. <laughs> what a terrible coming to movie. Netflix. Oh, that's no, it's gonna be on coming, that, that coming to that, Peacock. Yeah, the cock. Because <laughs> of Mr. Man production. Right, just <laughs> just sitting there online. Hey, my name's Anthony. Guess my Typed last it like name. this, like pecking like a chicken. <laughs> Hey, come to Gorilla. I got a position for you. Oh, man. I We're would... going to go over a match. I mean... Me, you, and Johnny Ace. Fellas, do, do y'all think there's going to be like... I'm gonna, we're going to go over the finish. <laughs> and then I'm going to finish. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me, um, me serious it out just a second. I know we're having a lot of fun with this, but... Uh, do you think anything is like traumatizing about this or do you think these were uh how should i say consensual relations that just had a pay incentive as well which would make it bad in that sense but i'm just curious on on your thoughts about the of course it's a leverage of power but just curious because apparently she was a paralegal at first then kind of started doing the doing the do with with vinnie mac and he was so she was just a paralegal with more responsibilities after that. It's like Monica Lewinsky. Wasn't she a paralegal for Bill Clinton or something? An intern or something? She, intern. There you go. Intern. Yeah, same yeah, shit. Should. Paralegal intern. Um, so, E, I haven't like read anything like traumatizing or bad. Mm-hmm. It might have just been that this ended badly and mm-hmm. she like, nah, I'm... It must have been real. Well, no, bad. she got her hush money, so she, she was staying saying. quiet. Yeah, so for her to go back on it the It probably NBA. didn't even end bad. Just, Somebody it just doesn't look accounting. good. What, what's yeah. this three hundred million dollars doing? It's the, it's the same chicks that yes. was coming after, or it's the same lawyer for the chicks that's going after Deshaun. That's who's going after Vince now, after Deshaun Watson. Yeah, somebody somebody leaked this name. to the board, 
And it was Nick Khan. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. And because he's Khan, like about to get Vince up out of there. Speaking of playbooks, man, Nick Khan got the playbook on how to take over a, a billion dollar company overnight. So, okay, guys, check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Nick Khan and The Rock grew up together in Hawaii. Are still great friends to this, to this day. day. We plan the hill and turn. Nick Khan also has known Cody for almost his entire life. Nick Khan has launched a play to literally give the biggest company in wrestling to the other royal families in wrestling, as Cody Rhodes' intro says. Because The Rock already took the XFL. I know. You can't call him Thanos. And now that Nick is like, we're taking the rest of this shit too. And that's the reason Nick convinced him to buy Dark Side of the Ring. So no more bad press comes out. After He's like, press. I got to control. I have to control, control the narrative, narrative of all of this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm going to convince you to fire your son. <laughs> I'm going to convince you the company isn't growing with your daughter. Get rid of her. I'm going to give Goku the Dragon Ball Z heart. Not Goku. Triple H to Goku heart virus. Yeah, Goku. That works. And we're going to send them all down. And then, right. and when you're and then, all alone, I'm going to get rid of your favorite toy, Johnny Ace. Right. <laughs> and now you're all alone, Ben. <laughs> your ivory tower. Yeah. What you going to do <laughs> when <Brother>. Nick <laughs> runs wild <laughs> on you? Kind of mania. And then for them like, to fully like, not you know excommunicate you, they're going to ask you to name some successors. And who's it going to be? Nick Khan, Dwayne Johnson. That Boom. will be it'd be sick. wild, but it wouldn't surprise me. They already low key doing it with the XFL, so yeah, they just posturing, man. Especially Dwayne. Dwayne is like the smartest man in the world as far as how he's positioned himself. It's like the LeBron. So that means in like wrestling. ten years, The Rock is not only going to be the president of the country, he's also going to be the chairman of the WWE at the same time. Yeah, and, and then Brothers. everything will be wrestling. <laughs> Everything is now wrestling, legitimately. Like everything, because it's gonna be on our. We'll, we'll talk about that really soon. Uh, bench flips. You, you want to pass a law? You gotta, you gotta go to backlash. Yep. Have a match about it. Yep. Oh, that would be dope. Do you Write know how many line. laws would be? Abortion <laughs> wouldn't be a thing. Do you know how many women will be beating the shit out of Congress? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> bring it on, motherfucker! You got be this old the- frail white man. A women's of... body should be my. <laughs> oh God! It would be Wait lots minute, of no deep. Canadian man. destroyer! Oh my God! The <laughs> senator from Arkansas is dead. <laughs> yeah, that's all I want. Let's be real. If if you had to take Congress on to get your law passed, the world would look completely different. Most most of the gun laws wouldn't even exist anymore. It'd be a bunch of like black people just beating the shit out of these random hillbillies talking about took our guns. And they're like, Yeah, no, we did. Do something. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> we did that. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Yeah, so you know. I, I'm I'm gonna stick with that. I do propose that we, we kinda institute that, but switching gears from uh from the the converse. Or, or or the the uh, taking the taking or, of WWE or the nasty boys at tag team champions. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that that too. Uh, the other news that possibly came out this week that's got WWE in shambles. Uh, Sasha Banks released question mark. Mm. Any any so. any news? Any legs? Well, actually, before we even go that route. I just want to know first, VA. Let me know. Do you think that if this is true, let's just treat it like it's true. What's 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 Sasha's next move? Uh, if it is true, um, I think AEW is definitely on the table. She's probably won't. There's probably going to be a ninety day clause or whatever. Um, Not if she's released. Right? I thought they still did that. No, for yeah. Some of if them. they release you, they give you, they put you on the ninety days. Yeah. If they don't renew your contract, ah, okay. that's you're fair. you're free and clear. Yeah, that's gotcha. the caveat. That's um, why Adam Cole popped up as soon as he did because yeah. he was just free and clear. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but I see that being more on the table than I did a few weeks back when they walked out. 
Um, so that's very much a possibility. From there, um, I would hope that our guy TK would not botch how she's booked because you know how we've talked about how the women in division in AEW is booked at a very lackluster level to call it what it is versus what they're doing in WWE. So it would concern me that they would probably book her to to not do what she should. You know, she should have a, a, a she should have a crazy like two three matches with Jay Cargill if she shows up over there. I think that's the only thing that's right. But it will make it tough because of how that title is marketed. It's like a mid title. So I don't know how that will work. Maybe she comes after Thunder Rosa. Who knows? But um, AEW would definitely be on the table. And that's what I would think. And then definitely bringing some star power over there, some mainstream energy that they don't currently have. With her yeah. connection. So, BA, here's where I agree and disagree with you. Um, AEW has to be on the table. If Sasha Banks is out there, Tony Khan just has to hand her a blank check. Um, mm-hmm. The Jaguars, but here's where I disagree. Here's where I disagree. Here's, I disagree. <laughs> here's Daddy's Football franchise. <laughs> yeah, here's where I disagree. Um, I wouldn't be worried about how she would be booked because, as much as we talk about their women's roster, they've never had someone like Sasha Banks. As good as you can say Britt Baker is, she's nowhere near the level of Sasha Banks on the mic in the ring or anything like that. Not so her boots. just Sasha being Sasha would not be booked in that way. And I think, because I, how we've always talked about how Tony's such a fan, he would defer to Sasha on her own booking. Yep. He would legit listen to her. Oh, yeah. And she got blank checks. If status. we know anything about Sasha Banks, she knows how to book it. She mm-hmm. knows how to book her own territory, if anything. She knows what um, she Agreed. But yeah, so the, the news is kind of like either she's being released or her lawyers are working on trying to get her released. Which she got Disney money now, so I think it's the latter. The lawyers is high paid. Think, yeah, I think they're trying. But to there's also the thing um, when Sasha took her sabbatical the first time around, she went all the way to Japan because she loves strong style wrestling. Mm-hmm. So That's there's a chance she pops up in New been. Japan or Pro Wrestling Noah or one of those promotions over there before she makes an AEW trip. And she's the biggest K-pop fan in the entire world. So, don't yeah, rule that yeah. out either. That's, some, that's, that's so good what? information. I said bigger, bigger K-pop guy than BA. You <laughs> Probably know. not. I mean, you, you, you might be right. BA. How'd you guys, guys know? Y'all, y'all on my fucking algorithms for YouTube? What y'all yeah. doing? Get off my shit, man. Y'all don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. For those of y'all who don't know, BA did call us today asking about why BTS broke up. He like he had questions, Major and none questions. of us could answer. And I was like, like, what does BTS stand for? I don't know. I was like, uh, <laughs> never mind. I won't even say that because I'm not going there, guys. <laughs> Slippery slope to the penalty box. I learned. Only box. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to take a a little venture down this conversation road, the speculatory road. Um, I would love to see this. This is something that I called, I don't even know how long ago, so many pods ago, but I was like, Sasha Banks going to AEW makes AEW, especially their women's roster and their women's division that is craving one of those big main stars. They're like, as soon as a Sasha or a Charlotte is available, they amplify that that roster because unlike what, what you said, BA, where they just throw her in with, with Jade, that doesn't make sense right now. It's definitely you and jay's you know, not ready either exactly well that's what mm. i'm saying yeah, that's why it doesn't make sense bad. but you yeah. immediately have her show up she you either go one of two ways you just put the rocket on her back she challenges thunder rosa and just snatches that belt off of her but they're gonna have a excellent couple matches or you put her in there run her through the through the gamut she she takes out dmd she goes through the uh, Statlanders. She goes through like everybody, all those kind of up and coming ladies. And then finally her and Thunder Rosa clash and it's epic. And they put on some of the greatest wrestling you've ever seen. It blows like the her and Bailey take over Brooklyn too out the water. Mm. And Ooh. then she takes that belt from her instead of Bailey getting crowned. And you're like, Tears are streaming, and you're like, "Holy shit, we got a star!" And then you see her and Jade kind of like staring off at a distance. They're not the same, but you could just see like, okay, foreshadowing as Jade mm-hmm. continues to build. 
E, I don't, I don't know if Sasha shows up there if she can run the gamut. Like, you have a WrestleMania main eventer, not even two years ago, show up at your door. Like, you, you're talking about one of the, in my opinion, the best women's wrestler walking planet Earth right now. Show up at your door. They don't, they don't wait in line. Like, she's not a Tony Storm showing up or a Ruby Ruby Soho showing up. This is Sasha Banks. Oh, like, for sure, for to sure. me. The only like the only gamut she would run is show up, Baker's pissed. She beats Baker. I don't give a fuck if it's at Rampage. You take that belt off on the Rose. You put it on Sasha Banks as soon as you possibly can. The on, my only problem with that is the thing that we hate about AEW, which I don't think Sasha would even go for that. Is for that reason, terrible storyteller. Because if she just goes straight to the top, where does she go from there? Mm-hmm. And it makes a sour championship. Because now if she don't run the gamut. Who did she challenge? And it's like, ugh. Well, now Sasha got the belt. This is boring. But you build her and you have her go through people and start just tearing people to pieces. And people are now claiming for it, just like Wardlow. Wardlow is only on fire right now because they didn't strap the rocket to his back, even though he fought 82 niggas and beat them to death. Didn't matter. But they're doing stuff like that instead of just throwing a belt on them. Because unfortunately, when you do that, there's nowhere to go but down. So the but chase, Wardlow's like not an established name. Sasha is I, I a hear household you. name. I hear you. But the problem is Sasha being the household name and 88% of their roster not makes every match that she has with somebody else, whether it's good or bad, the same shit as Thunder Rose is going through. Like, mm. nah, I don't care. So when you actually give her a chance to just run through people, kind of like a better version of the CM Punk shit, you get a chance to maybe even have her versus DMD become like a really big thing. So then on her way up, she catches some fire, some chemistry. Then she takes the belt. And now you got a couple of stories to revisit. That's the smart play. And I think Sasha's smart enough to realize like, this is what we want to do. And I think she's uh, <clears throat> more so a fan of the wrestling and not the business end. Cause somebody who goes into business for themselves, they're definitely like, put the belt on me. I'm a main eventer. Sasha's like, let's tell the stories and let's honor these championship women and let's elevate as we go. Because she's more more known, honestly, still being the best woman on the planet of doing the job than actually winning the main thing. So she makes people look better. So that's what I'm saying. She could have some great matches and she's like younger than most of the roster. She's younger than CM Punk. So CM Punk was elevating people on his way to the title. She could literally do the same thing but she could actually complete the task and make it much better because she's in her wrestling prime, whereas CM Punk was a little bit past six. That's all I'm saying. A little bit. A little bit. Just, just a little bit. Hey, yeah. semantics. Just, just a scotch. You hear what I'm saying. <laughs> just a scotch. No, I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. Right there, be a... I, I would put the rocket on her, but you guys know how I feel about Thunder Rosa's run uh, right now. It's not, it's not impressive. You know what you do Mid to her. Best. Now relax yourself, Johnny Ace. <laughs> Why are you calling me out, man? I thought we were friends. Jesus you can't Christ. just say I put the rocket on her after we just had a conversation about uh, Vince he, McMahon. He, he'd have matches. her sign an NDA first. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, her NDA her erases uh, all that. Her husband would, her betrothed would definitely like sew your mouth shut. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he, he would do what? He Doc, would do what? He would sit there and shut the fuck up. He would sit there and shut the fuck up. He, he'd put all the glitter on you, bedazzle your face. And <laughs> he would. He would go make me some wrestling pants with her face on them. What? Yeah. Make you a human shock master. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's yeah. made the, the shock master. <laughs> Hit him with the shocker. That's right. Ball, and his name like Miguel or people. something like that. No one knows. Who, who knows? Who cares? I was going to get my Shockmaster voice, but I was going to be like, Disrespect. Sasha Keep Banks' it. husband, or whatever the fuck you are. I'm here to bang your wife, and you're going to take it and watch it, and take this, and you're going to be a new cup as I sit here. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes. Two you minutes. Know. Two minutes. Hey, so I was gone last week. I was, that was, that was necessary. Two. I'm two gone. minutes in the penalty box. <laughs> he managed to avoid this the entire time. I had oh, to. I'm we sorry. Were, it was like a shiny we toy. I had to knock off the table real quick. I'm gonna clean up my two best. minutes. Oh man! All right. Thanks. Thank you. Well, you well. you you get to miss our Jeff Hardy discussion. 
So there you <laughs> Thank <go>. you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> while we've been giving Jeff Hardy all this praise for hunching and hunch dances, apparently he's still fighting his demons. Got arrested for another DUI. Hmm. Blew a point two eight, which three times is the- blackout drunk. Blackout. Um, he's been suspended without pay from AEW. They say he cannot go- come back until he completes some treatment for his issues. Obviously, he was not in the tag team ladder match for the tag titles, and Matt very was not on TV either. Yeah, very obvious, right? <laughs> and yeah, so. Do we think it's time for Jeff to just kind of hang him up and just go home and sit at home and get his life together? No. I, I think... No? Th- so, well, hold on. You said two things there. You said, do you think it's time for him to hang it up, go home, and get himself together? Yes mm-hmm. and no. So, not hang it up, but definitely go home, get himself together. He really needs to call DDP, because apparently <laughs> Diamond Dallas can fix anybody. He's like, look, you, you you hard up on cocaine DDP yoga will just detox that shit straight out of your body some downward dog just might shoot cocaine straight out your ass like oh and you feel so much better I, I don't know how this works Scott Hall before he passed was definitely the be- in the best shape that we've seen him in years through such oh, yeah. Jake the Snake is only able to give us these random promos on AEW because of DDP yoga Jericho Sweaty. has abs again now because of DDP yoga. So, and he's I, a wizard. Uh, yeah, I, I want to attribute that to Diamond Dallas. That that's his other affiliations. <laughs> so, but I, I promise you, it really seems like that's something that he needs to seek. But on a serious note, I don't know. Jeff is going through it, and I don't, and people want to blame the bumps. And I heard, I heard, I think Booker T said uh, there. AEW should take some culpability because of the the bumps he was taking. I was like, oh wow, come on now, that sounds like some Booker bullshit. T's the biggest like WWE stand though. I love Booker, I, I but know. he be I know. quick to be like, it's, it's nothing WWE can do no wrong. Can you dig it? Like, come on, man. Yo, it's E Ray, the quasi bad guy, the Diet Coke of evil, the side god of pod, and I'm here to tell y'all, come check out my show. Binge flicks and chill. You never know what you're going to get, but we always talking in some good shit when it comes to television and the latest movies. So we want to bring y'all in. We want to make sure you have a good time. You learn something, you laugh, you cry. You might stab a nigga or two. I don't know what you're going to get, but that shit is popping. So come check out Binge Flicks and Chill. And it's me, E-Ray, and I'm out. I hate that shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it pisses me off of well, Booker B just blindly defended WWE. Or- I, but what I about agree. when they had you lose that mania book? That right. was the right decision. Can you dig it? Yeah. No, we can't. Let's talk about Even how Triple H you- says it was the wrong decision. Right. Exactly. And you was all about it. All sometimes, that pain, right. I was like, sometimes. You <laughs> I look. I looked at Book and was like, you did not just say that. But he did. So. Tell me, <laughs> you didn't just say that. So I just, yes. you know, so you gotta let it be. But. I, I personally think that uh, I don't think the bumps had anything to do with it. I think Jeff Hardy is just used to getting away with shit and not dealing with whatever. Like some, most of the people who are great are also very troubled, and I think that's fair to say. Uh, it's very difficult for him to like do the thing that he loves, especially as you start to get older. I think The Rock probably had the best exit and you still see him come back every once in a while tear his muscles off the bones and they they go disappear again jeff hardy this is one of the things all he did he never tried to venture out and do a bunch of movies and shit so wrestling is all him and matt has known since they were like six putting on their own backyard promotions and all kinds of crazy shit like they kind of was done with wrestling and then got put back on the wrestling from their own creativity so I think it's just hard as he gets older to accept this and again certain things that he didn't really get a chance to rectify being his own demons and the, and the demon of addiction like shit if I'm in Florida Florida's a wild ass state Florida man's a thing for a reason like still out here 
Jeff Hardy is Florida man. You yeah. might catch him doing some coke. You might catch him just driving down like I seventy five with fucking guns ablaze. I don't. You don't know. And and you gotta play. And you just see the toll picture when he takes a toll picture. He's like, ah. he's just hunching. <laughs> like, yeah, he got. He's hunching while pose. driving. That you gotta understand like the poses Jeff Hardy came up with. You only come up with those when demons are partying with you. Cocaine and and copious amounts of alcohol are involved. It's the only way you can just think about it. and then drop yeah. your body through a table. Yeah, I can't argue with anything that you just said e, at all. Um, oh, B.A. No, he he did copious amounts of drugs. Yeah, he was, man. Yeah! Still <laughs> feeling the effect of some of those things today. <laughs> yeah. was a BA yeah, was a, was a, a wild, table. wild boy. Yes, yes. I put, I, I, yeah, back with my bouncing days. Yeah, I, I broken up some fights. Broke, I, yeah, man. Some stories. Broken some shed. people. Beer ah! barrel saloon at that Putin Bay, man. It's gotten rough, rough a couple. Christmas in July is a crazy time at that place. But oh, um, there. there you go, man. Yes. Yes, hold, keep keep holding it down, Patriarch of PIB. So, so BA, let me ask you because maybe you could help our uh, our dear friend, the original OG Hunchamania, mm. Jeff Hardy. How did you, you know, overcome well, your demons? Was it? DDP I'll say yoga? this: not to make turn this into a therapy session or anything, or start therapizing. Oh, um, my, my therapizing. Therapizing, that's the thing. It's a thing. Uh, my 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 illicit drug use was more out of just partying. I like to party. Um, if I'd, I'd still be partying to this day if adult responsibilities did not um, stop me from doing that because I just I, I enjoy having a good time. I, I like to kick it. Um, but as far as dealing with things, um, it never like like the serious stuff never became a problem because I always told myself like this is what this is for. When you're when, this, when you're not in this environment, you don't need to be doing this. Basically, um, outside of outside of uh, Mary Jane, Mary Jane is is, is the, the, the number one girl that keeps me sane. Um, Mary so that's, that's, Jane, yeah, that's just more for the mental aspect of my life and all the different things I juggle in the eighteen different hats I've been wearing for years. Um, but when it comes to Jeff, though, man, I just think that, like you said, I don't think he needs to disappear. I think he needs wrestling because it gives him purpose. Um, but I think he needs to reinvent how he wrestles. Um, and that could be a way for him to kind of take what's happening and spin it as a positive. Cause I mean, you know, guys like, like look at a, let's think about like, like Chris Jericho, we were just talking about him. Think about how much his wrestling style has changed over the decades he's been wrestling. Uh, mostly because at, to your point, E, cause he went to see DDP. And once you, I'm sure once he saw him, he found out like I don't gotta be doing lion sauce, which he shouldn't be doing, and all that kind of stuff anymore. Let me wrestle more through story and telling the story in the ring with my movements and my facials and stuff like that. Jeff is always gonna be known, known as Mr. Swanton, Mr. Taking Super Crazy Risk. I get that, but if he wants longevity in this game and wants to be around for his family and all that stuff, which is what this is all about at the end of the day, as far as this discussion. He needs to fall in love with it again in a different way, and I think that would help out him with battling his demons overall. I, I like I like where you're going, but I, I gotta I gotta stop you with two things. One, Jeff is definitely Jeff. That is him. He is mm-hmm. not Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is That's the true. master of reinvention. He constantly just creates a different version of himself, uh, and. Jeff Hardy is the spectacle. He's like, you know what you're getting. Jeff Hardy is, uh, damn, I can't even think of, of well, kind of like Scott Hall. It's, unfortunately, it's like, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. you're getting when you sign him up or or Jake the Snake or these other troubled guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hoping that he can just get himself together where he could do something different. But I think Jeff Hardy was always the extreme and Matt Hardy was more so the creative, uh, like, fluid or more fluid guy as far as like character Mm -hmm. um also i just had to throw this in there you said chris jericho did change his wrestling style and stuff like that he didn't need to be doing uh lion salts anymore he opened up this match versus (laughs) ortiz (laughs) 
with the lion song. <laughs> So they just shit on your whole point. <laughs> no, and I've seen him do other lion sauce, but no, 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 it doesn't completely shit on it. I give you a little turd, but I'm not giving you a full out poop. Give no. you a, a turtle. Uh, head. To, your, to your point, head Jericho head didn't head stop head. doing the cold breaker as much. He replaced that with the Judas effect. Fair because, enough. Because you know, just, I, just jumping and just jumping like flat on your back and bringing somebody down with you with more weight. I feel like that that's not something you should probably be doing in your 40s. But. I mean, not at all. Not you Jericho. I'm, try, I'm trying to help so BA out a little bit, E. I know, yes, but you, I'm Dub. just, thank I'm you just for, not thank rolling. Thank you for the rope. Because I appreciate it. I also think that, again, that because Jericho does this all the time, his his moveset changes with his character. So it's like the mm-hmm. juice effect is being something so douchey and annoying and stupid even that it worked for that, heel, that super heel <laughs> pain maker character. That, so I was like, yeah, uh, but Cold Breaker is Cold Breaker. But, uh, either way, I'm just saying, I just wanted to throw that out there because I thought it was hilarious that you said that. I'm like, damn, he opened up the match. With I the- said that <laughs> he also <laughs> shouldn't be doing it because he botched one like a few like a few months ago on Dynamite. Like he tried to do a lion saw and fell short. And that's why be I was it, like, no, nah, he don't need to be, be doing it. that. Just botching one move would not stop you from doing it. As Charlotte Flair, she has oh, not I... hit a moonsault in seven years. <laughs> That's and she not still a botch, does them she just, all the time. Her, her moonsault is one of the prettiest moonsaults. It's there. pretty, but Outside. she'll not stick that bitch. But she always misses. Because <laughs> no one catches her. Nah, she just misses. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> She does a, a outside off the top ropes and look. I'm not. I'm not caping for Charlotte. I would never. But in this moment, Superman. They are like, dance partners. She she to climbs eat. to the top dance rope partners. and then does the most beautiful moonsault on the top rope to outside. It's it's incredible, guys. I'm, I can't let you shit on that. But regardless. Be that as it may, we Darby were. Allen just be falling off the top rope and people catch him. Fact. I don't want to hear but, it. But that, I don't want to hear it. To my point, I can't argue with that. He's a human crash test dummy. <laughs> like I love Charlotte Darby. just be missing. Darby also, just be though, dying. <laughs> <laughs> the person catching Charlotte's just as responsible. It's a dance. They're dancing, man. Thank and you. Dance partner Thank you. gotta catch and, you. And they don't be they don't be catching them. They, they be like. That's, they probably, even when that's, she does them in the ring, like she'll miss like her forearms will hit, yeah, like, and you're like, hey, 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 yo, hey, you're you're Jay on us right now. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, man. I, 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 I just saying. Don't, I got you. I got, don't, I got don't, you. Just saying. Just. I mean, I, I I get both sides of it. Dub's like, you got such just a pretty moon so <laughs> You got to hit it at least saying. once in a blue moon. It's burning his soul. Just Adrenaline in my soul. It's... I hate Charlotte's moon soul. <laughs> I hate them so I hate it so much. Uh... Well, so much. okay. Well, so since we're here, can we actually talk about some of the wrestling that happened this week? Yeah, guys? I was getting us there, but you you were, oh. you weren't letting it go. <laughs> I, I couldn't because you brought up Charlotte's moon soul, and it's so bad. It's, it's so bad. I don't think it's bad. It looks pretty. Just the execution is off. That's all. She's got to execute. Misses. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Pretty, Monday Night Raw. AJ and Seth <laughs> for free on a Monday. E, get, get me there. Get me there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't see it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was like the biggest <laughs> dick tease ever. Dumb, so ready. <laughs> oh, baby. That was oh, you're like, so yeah, he like, oh, I gotta ready go. for the hot tag. That what? hand was out no. there. He oh. just like went home. Just he like, just I, hopped I, on the apron and just right. walked off yeah. on me. He, he oh, pulled a Jeff Hardy and walked out the crowd. <laughs> and walked through the crowd and just went <laughs> home. I'm keeping it real, y'all. <laughs> Ain't no Cody Rhodes on my TV. Oh. I was <laughs> like, uh, Judgment Day, question marks. There's no champion of Raw. I feel Ooh. like there's not much need for me to watch this. Outside so of, I, outside I of Austin Theory left. and whatever they're doing with Judgment Day, there isn't much to see here. Austin well, Theory. No, look. So I, I didn't watch it, but I definitely watched the ups and downs. Uh, you watched the Simon pose off? Miller. Austin Theory had a pose down to close the show with Bobby Uh-oh. Lashley. That's Hulk Hogan booking right there, folks. BA, B- do you know at the at the at the premium primetime spot of Monday Night Raw, somebody somebody I think it was Simon Pierce was saying 
hit him with the most muscular. <laughs> I'm like, what? I hate this. I I'm so happy I did not waste my time watching it. I yeah. enjoyed the basketball game instead. I'm with I'm, but, I'm kind of with Ian Raw now too, man. They gave us AJ and Seth on free television. They had and to. Those boys had a match. They had to. They had to get somebody to watch. Like he said, Cody's gone. They got to hey, keep people yeah. watching somehow. Hey, Dub. Until Osprey came on my TV, that was the best match of the week. But then Osprey hey, kind of did did things. In in a in a big shit turd. There's always a nice, perfect piece of corn. There's I don't give some a nutrients. fuck. <laughs> like, I'm, let's just be real. I I I, I hear you. I, if it would have closed the the night, you got me. But they chose to it close it closed. with a segment where Theory coated Bobby Lashley in baby oil. Oh, like a segment. Wait, that happened? I didn't watch the post. Did that happen? I didn't see that part of the YouTube. Clip. I, this is what I seen from <laughs> from uh, Simon Simon Miller. So I was uh, like, come on. It's like this is what y'all close the show with. I'm so happy I watched uh, the Celtics take that L. It was much better of a of a time than watching Bobby Lashley get uh, ready for his black session. I didn't want to see this. <laughs> like, and I don't I don't even like that feud. Like that's my problem. It's, it's so much. It just seems like utter chaos. They got the Judgment Day, but yet they're all on separate accords. It's like what the fuck is going on in in wrestling? Like they don't have they any don't direct. Know. They don't want to be told what to do anymore, E. So they just doing whatever they want to so, do now. So while you're telling me, Dub, oh my gosh, AJ versus Seth on free TV, I'm like, Dude, I got better things to do in my life because I'm not gonna bury like you tell me is one good paragraph in a 1800 page book. I don't fucking care. You can't make me. So um, apparently, I tried. It was a good match. It was a good match. It, it should have been. I'm not sitting here telling you the rest of Raw was good. It was not. But I'm not even excited match. to turn on Raw because of that. Because the, oh, there's dude. no storylines. I it's like literally no one's stepping up. I think the best thing they got going, and that's kind of on Friday and not Monday, is uh. What Riddle versus Roman? Riddle and Reigns. Oh, yeah, yeah Poss- and that's that. like even possibly because then Roman don't even be there. So it's so much shit that's happening right now where I'm like, look, can we can we just keep it real with ourselves? Wrestling is ass right now. That's what happens there's when also, you suspend Sasha. And there's like six people hurt across both of the companies that look, matter yeah. big time. I think that's the biggest reason why. He, it's it, a lot a yeah, lot of injuries that we that we detailed la, uh, the, the last yes. week, but also so so many uh like this is just that wrestling off period where it's like, "Oh, it's the summertime, guys. Let's just do some shit. Just see what happens." Just no Sasha. Get a little weird. And it's like, "All right, really just weird. no Sasha." Bianca versus No. I don't want it. It doesn't even make sense. No, Bianca and Rhea is about to be fired. No, it's not. <laughs> they've had they've had good matches before. Do you do you remember in, in, in look, NXT? The basis of this match should be Bianca saying, "Hey, bitch, I remember when I was getting jumped by Charlotte, and you did your whole you entrance did your dance." Whole entrance. Oh, she was the original uh, hunch. She yes, just she was. Oh, <laughs> that da, 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 da. and then Bianca's just like, oh, my back." Right. She's wearing stilettos. Please save me. That's we what, rocking that be, stilettos, huh? That we should be the huh? whole build of the feud. Because other than that, it doesn't really make sense. Because then, how does uh, how does Damian Priest and how does um, Finn like play a part in that for Judgment Day? That's weird, and it's like an early build. It doesn't make sense. So it's just again, it's just like a bunch of a bunch of accords or too many cooks in the kitchen. And maybe this is one of those times where you need like a, a Tony Khan to be like, hey, this doesn't make sense. This is dumb. But I don't know. That's just my feelings on it. That's what happens, man, when you don't have any Sasha. Because you remember during the pandemic, a lot of guys stayed home. But you know who didn't? Sasha Banks. All the black She people. carried all three of them shows. All three of them. All the minorities were, were uplifted during the pandemic. As soon as they yeah. start letting the real crowds in there, they was like, <laughs> niggas. <Catering. laughs> 
<laughs> Her today was Soul Food Day in the catering room. Don't you guys want to go check that out? <laughs> Angel Garza got 40 minutes of TV time a week during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. they had that's yeah, All the minorities, that. black and brown folks, was mm-hmm. dominating. They put Theory in a in a stable with some brown folks, and it was like, <laughs> "Get your ass out, go back down to NXT." All right, we're just like, so we can figure out a more yeah, you're too a, white. A more Vince way to bring you up here. This right. is not how we yeah, do like, this. That's what it was like. Look, you 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 uh, you minorities are very entertaining. You guys are known to be in the entertainment space, and then <laughs> it's like, but Vince, what about COVID? If they die, they die. And he it just, just kept my, going. It was just minorities and Miz during the pandemic. Facts. It was the Hurt business. It was uh, Zelina's stable. It was um, the Profits. Profits. Biggie. Usos. New Day. Biggie. It was so much going on. And now, where are all of them? Los Lotharos. Now it's, I guess. it's Riddle, Miz, and Heyman to start the show. And then Austin Theory rubbing oil on Bobby Lashley to close the show. Yeah, Raw's yeah. getting it's weird. It's a nasty show. Black. Yeah. Yeah, for real. You know what? The way that show ended, I believe everything that the Wall Street Journal is reporting about Vince. Absolutely. And he said, yeah. I don't care. They, there was a nasty thread about uh, about Vince and his misdeeds and duties. <laughs> and I was like, I believe all of this. This is what happens when you don't give people health care and you don't pay for their traveling benefits. <laughs> buddy <laughs> like independent contractor my ass got these people drop doing 54 different backdrops and then sitting in a damn uh Hyundai Sonata driving 18 hours to the next city for a hotel they gotta pay for they self this is a sick motherfucker all that for the this lights is what man. happens when you're allowed to monopolize your own business and no one stops you mm-hmm. facts you just you feel all powerful Anyways, there was more wrestling this week, guys. Did you guys watch any of it? Oh, I watched everything NXT. else. I just not doing raw. So, BA, how'd you feel about NXT? Because I felt like this was a very like missable episode of NXT. Yeah. Oh, bro. oh let's, let's go to the crowd. Let's eat. Let's say I see E Ray's a little Hot more tag. excited yeah. than me see? to talking to. Yeah. Let me get, I think A Dub's just off today. He he w- went to me. What? He went to me for the, the Raw that I definitely didn't watch. And then he goes to <laughs> NXT, the the most entertaining wrestling show every week. And he he's going to cut to BA and say, yeah, this was pretty mid. How do you think? So B- Dub's usually Hell no. it, Dub usually puts 2.0 over, uh, 2.0 over heavy on this show. I know. So and that's what I'm shot. saying. Like, I, it wasn't I watched that bad it. of an episode. Too. It was okay. It wasn't it was, terrible. To me, it, it wasn't, wasn't even bad. You opened up with <laughs> Anofi and Blade versus the Creeds, and that shit was fire. I really enjoyed match. that match. Yeah, match. Then, they always deliver on the opening match. I mean, sure, maybe. I'm not even going to go there, but they, they had match upon match upon match. So it was that. Then you got some more storyline, and that's what I care about mostly. They just kept furthering storylines. So... To me, even if it wasn't good wrestling, which it was, then you had stacks and two dimes. The last, the last of. Uh, of I can't wait till we hear what happened to him. Oh, they're gonna label him as a snitch. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I like he that. I caught that, that idea. He's, he's he was like, he's a rat. Fishes. Yeah, he's a rat. So uh, you know what happens. Yep. We won't be discussing him any longer. We you don't like, deal with Whoa. rats in this family. Yeah. And I watched him wrestle, and I was like, yeah, these two dudes are, like, very generic. So you can lose one of them, and They're I wouldn't Steve's. notice. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I wouldn't notice. They're, they're Guido. Guido Joe's. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Um, That was that was still entertaining uh, versus the A-Champ. You got him on the show. I like what they're doing Change with this. the family versus uh, Trick and Mello. That, that's good stuff. Then you got some some Braun versus uh, Cameron Grimes tension. Fantastic. I love what they're doing there. And then you got um, my favorite thing, because we didn't even talk about this last week. Apollo Crews is back in NXT, and apparently now he is the equalizer. So he will yeah, murder you. He question. sits there and looks, assesses the situation, and then goes commits a murder. So apparently, premeditated murder is is possible in NXT. And 
he was so powerful. His NXT jacket and leather is so powerful. It stripped him <laughs> of his uh, Nyjah accent. I love it. I love <laughs> everything that's happening in NXT. <laughs> so, mid, I think not. I, I would I would beg to differ. Because we even got uh, my wrestling twin versus uh, Zion Quinn. Oh, uh, Wesley. And he won again, <laughs> which was shocking. It's so much shit. It's like... They're do- but they're doing what they're doing is even if you don't care about the matchups, the stories they're placing behind it and actually continuing the story and at giving more and more, it's like really good sports entertainment television. So every no, week, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no one does like week to week television better than NXT. Mm-hmm. I just thought from the run they've been on, if I had to pick an episode that I could miss, mm-hmm. it would have been Tuesdays. I understand what you're saying by that, Dub. Um, Cause it was like, it was explained. I mean, if if I if I miss this episode, I, you're not missing anything in the grand scheme of storyline. Some things are starting, some things are kind of progressing along, but you're not missing like big shit happening. I guess as far as a big thing in a storyline, mostly foundation. Yeah, because you're only going to get two weeks of build of Grimes and Breaker to go into the Great American Bash, which. I don't give two fucks about Breaker's title run at all. Yeah, and I'm um, kind of mad that they bringing Grimes into it. Like, either bring him up to the main roster or not. Like, don't get let him get squashed by Brian on the way out the door. I don't agree with that. If that's what they're about to do. Yeah, I, the family stuff. I mean, I'm always a fan of gang wars. I'm, you know, from Detroit. I love gang shit <laughs> at all times. I'm not. Um, so. <laughs> he's I, not. I like just going. And I just, like safety. Right. <laughs> I, like I don't Sandy like murder. Safety. I wake up and choose violence every day. Right, but I, um, I actually meant I, this, I'm the opposite with the uh, thought of um, Cameron Grimes. I thought they were just going to usher him out the door and have him go to the main roster. I'm liking that he's actually in the main main title picture now. So maybe he does get squashed by Braun. Maybe he doesn't. But I think that's much better because it's kind of like a heel turn. Even how he was kind of shitting on Anofi and Blade. Like, oh, nigga, you about to go to the club? You bitch ass nigga, you just oh, no, lost. Yeah. Tell people nigga. not to go get bitches. That's a heel turn. Yeah, I loved it because yeah, he's like, "Hey, time. work harder," and but he's doing it in a much better way than uh, than Roddy, which they furthered that as well. Like Roddy's like chicken shit heel now. I'm like, oh, Roddy, mm-hmm. why don't you go be an example? He's like, oh, oh, my ankle hurts, uh, my, my legs. <laughs> so I, I, I Roddy, like man. I said, I think we just have a very difference of opinion on this week's episode. And I'm okay. We can have a handicap yeah. match. I'll defend it, but <laughs> right. I just believe that again because maybe because this was the most pleasurable uh, of of the wrestling shows for me, and it continues to be that every week. It's like, sure, if I missed it, I wouldn't care. But that's kind of like all wrestling at this point for me because it's just nothing is so must see right now. But NXT still keeps the storylines where I'm like. Oh, I care about uh, what's happening to uh, Fallon, blah, 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 versus Oh Girl and Tiffany Stratton. I like that shit. I don't yeah. know why I like these random shit. Cause I guess because it's continuity versus just, hey, it's Excalibur and here's Joe Blow versus Stephen A. Smith. What? <laughs> why? Joe Blow used to be a point guard at the University <laughs> of Oklahoma and uh, averaged 18.5 points per game. Tennessee. Sodom and Gomorrah <laughs> sing. What? Who are these people? Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> Who are these people? I e, I can't I can't. So E, you're uh, telling me you disagree. didn't like the random explanations of all the New Japan guys? <laughs> I didn't listen. I I black out when they just start over explaining to to me. It's very much like those movies. With uh, with the exposition dumps, mm-hmm. it's like if you just yep. gonna explain Great the whole analogy. movie to me in one scene, I don't nigga. I, why do you shoot movies? Like Thank just you. just put it at the end with the words. Like put the words across it in gray. E Ray went on to to make five different types of vodka, but he was shot down in his home <laughs> before <laughs> by a dub, and he but, stole his form. But E, there was Thank so you. much going on. Jericho came out because he had a match with Tanahashi at Wrestle Kingdom 14, and then Lance Archer came out, and then Desperado came out. Apparently, they're a part of Minoru Suzuku's um, stable in New Japan. They're on loan to Chris Jericho for a match next week on Rampage Dynamite Super Show. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Forbidden Door. I don't know. Okada. I don't, ah. 
it, thank you, it, A Caliber. It, it, it turned me <laughs> off, man. I checked out. Like when I stuff when those matches were happening in era, I'm like, all right, bathroom break. <laughs> like I got up from my computer. I'm, I'm not. But watching. do you ever? I mean, let's be real. Are we ever like glued to the edge of our seats watching uh, any of the AEW product, or are we just kind of like it's a tweet no. through? We kind of watch. We wait nah. for some. Yeah, we no wait surprises. for something interesting to happen. We're like, I don't know where they're going with this build, but uh, we're watching we'll and we'll tweet through it, flick through some other stuff. Tweet through, get in the group <laughs> chat. Yeah. It's, so, again, I don't care because I knew Forbidden Door, like the, the uh, one of the questions that we were asking, has Tony Khan intrigued us to buy uh, Forbidden Door? For me, no. yes. Not me. Because... I mean, you know, I always pay for every single <laughs> AEW. Oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> we I got my special discount code that I will send you guys in the free, group free, chat free. Oh, so we could all watch it again yeah. for for a discounted price. But that's what I... the five fingers say to Tony Khan. <laughs> free, free, motherfucker. Right. Stop <laughs> but, fucking bullshit. No. Yeah, but yeah, uh, you know, I don't blame them because... I think, why not try to give it to the most clunky shit? Yeah, give it to Jericho, because Jericho can still cut a good promo, and he can try to get the shit over, at least make sense of it. We had a merger, and uh, Sammy Guevara's back with Jericho. Great, because he was kind of floundering with his girl. He's like, yeah, yeah, sex, the sex gods, and and these kids, they'll have sex anywhere, right? And then they're like, yeah. (laughs) So I'm like, cool. I'm okay with that. And then, yeah, sure. I don't like the Murder Hawk monster. I don't even know who the other dude was. Moppy Head, man. Yeah, sure. Desperado. Yeah. Sure, whatever. That's not Antonio Banderas. <laughs> don't lie to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here. Where's the Where's the guitar case full of guns? Yeah, I don't believe man. you. But sure, if if you say so, Antonio Banderas and Murder Hawk monster are there on loan or something. Whatever. They're just trying to. They're on loan to Jericho connective. from Minoru Suzuki. Which is sound. I tried like my best got, to pay attention uh, to everything that Excalibur was saying because there was so much going on. I was so confused that I was like uh, determined. I'm like, all right, Excalibur, what are you yeah. saying? Please tell me what they, the fuck they, is going they on. They probably right should have chose better wording. Because there's 98 people in the ring right now. They probably should have chose better wording. Granted, uh, the type of information that came out with Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's not put anybody on loan or. Yeah, just, you know, let's just no stay fun. away from this if the homies can't have none what up y'all it's your boy smiles aka hip-hop adam Schefter, aka the josh james aka for all the ladies the chocolate sauce bandit you already know what it is tune into an audible ruckus every week and don't forget to check out my two shows at shot versus smiles and music impulse on all streaming platforms spotify apple soundcloud amazon music whatever tune in it's your boy smiles and i'm out crew love <laughs> and then they just beat the shit out of <laughs> other people sure but again i'm okay with all this stuff because guess what at the end of the day uh you got osprey versus uh orange cassidy love it um, you got Jericho and all his minions versus some other motherfuckers, Blackpool Combat <laughs> Club or something. Cool. I'm going to watch it. Um, and then you got Switchblade, uh, or as I like to call them, Private Selects Pac versus, uh, I don't even know. We don't know I yet. Get, I guess against uh, Cowboy shit, maybe. I, he's I don't be know. Waiting at the forbidden Question door mark? for somebody to come through. That's going to be the game. yeah. It's going to be that's... he's going to stand in front of a door. Somebody's going to walk through, and that's who's going to wrestle. Sasha Banks. <laughs> <laughs> but re- hey, climb me up. Right, sounds good. Regardless, all I'm all I'm saying is, or the point I'm making, it's wrestling. I've watched Wrestle Kingdom where I've known nothing. I just looked. I was like, oh, that's Billy Gunn in a fucking battle royal, and he's jacked. I'm watching. <laughs> So if I can watch that shit with no context, I can watch this shit. That's I think I spent half of the AEW show explaining to J-Mo why Dax Harwood versus Will Ospreay <laughs> was not a dream match for anyone. On paper, no. it's not. I don't get that argument at on all. On paper, saying it out loud? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On no. video? Like, it was a good well, match. Fantasy Bookers is out there like, yeah, Dax Harwood. 
I can't wait for him to go against Will Ospreay one day. And no. this ain't no offense to Dax, no. man. I love Dax. I love no offense uh, to Dax right, or J Mo. I'm right, just saying. Right, right. It's had to love be said. Love Cash, love Dax, but when people think of Dax or Cash, it's never in a singles competition. It's always, oh man, I would love to see FTR versus the Hardy Boys or right. for this. Yeah, we, yeah, we almost got it. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Uh, oh, Damn, or, Tito's or, Vodka or, or, r- r- ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed us of a banger. Damn, Tito's. And, you and Jurassic though. Express had to take every one of those shots that were meant for the Hardy. <laughs> Yes, they did, man. They were like, we did. Oh, my God. But, yeah, to y'all, to your point, Dub, yes. That's that's their tag team wrestlers, man. That's the only time I want to see them. We got our dream match with them against the Bristos, in my opinion. That was the best FTR match I ever saw. So um, I still say FTR versus uh, DIY was the best match I ever saw. Best tag oh, team. Oh, from, from, from NXT? Yes. I, I will that plug that incredible. into oh, the, yeah. to the Peacock and watch that, man. Man, that's incredible. I have to check that one. Yeah, out. BA, watch, watch that match. Just because you don't even see that. I'll go back and watch the, the Briscoe match right now. Like, like, and when I'm bored, I'll watch that Briscoe on FTR match. So, and I thought that that was that that was king shit to me. So I'm gonna have to check this. Uh, yeah, and this was all, that was almost ten out. years ago. Wow, it's definitely like it's Damn, definitely like old. seven. It's definitely like six or seven years ago. Please watch it. It's incredible. Yeah. But I will. Um, That's my homework assignment this be, week. Be neither here nor there. Um... We will definitely be watching that. Um, it, what what is it? What else happened? But, I mean, um, your boy Ethan Page caught that El de Miro like we thought he would. Mm. Um, I guess. And then, oh, 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 and then Tony Khan with his questionable decisions Lord. decided to have Dan Lambert cut a promo from the skybox and then say, "Oh, you can get jumped from anywhere. You can get jumped from anywhere." And then had. Excuse me. No, he had he did that to Wardlow. I'm sorry. He did that yeah, to yeah, Wardlow. Yeah. So that's Wardlow said, won his slow, case. Slow your roll, bucko. You're right. Before You're you right. jumped there. All You're ego. Right. I was just thinking all top team so shit. And I just he was rolled so it all hyped. together. <laughs> all I, ego. I just that's what AEW's overstimulated product will do to you. You're just like, oh, this happened. And this happened. And this happened. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are. Yep. There's only one person right. that we know is doing that. And it's none of us. But um, all ego, Ethan Page, in in the preliminary matchup, I'm like, I love Ethan Page, but I see that belt, Miro's return, that shirt, his physique. I'm like, this belt was made for Miro. Put it on him immediately. I want to just watch. I was mad for a few reasons here, so I'm going to talk about this match really quickly. Um, I think this match was booked completely wrong. Uh, as much as I love Ethan Page, it should have been high octane, not like the big rest hole work a work a limb shit. It should have just been brawl for it all, and then Miro breaks his fucking back and ends him. And that would have been incredible. They did. They tried to make it like parse and like not lo- make Ethan Page lose anything, and it didn't make any Miro look any better. I think Miro needed to have a big comeback match. They need to treat Miro. Like they're treating uh, Wardlow because Wardlow is horrible on the mic. Miro is not. The Redeemer is here for his shit. That belt looks like it was made for him. That gold (laughs) around his waist will be like, oh my, I can't even say what it would be like, but it just gives me vibes of of uh, your boy Xavier Woods. (laughs) I'll stop putting it that way. Um, Uh Other than that, though. I don't know what else to say about that. Any any other thoughts about that tournament? That belt looks incredible, but I still you don't think, think it's one of the minutes. Japanese guys is going to win. You mean the logo Hence. for New Japan? <laughs> the logo <laughs> for New Japan. That's what it's literally just going to be. That yeah. the New Japan logo comes out to wrestle. It's going like to be Tiger the Mask. logo versus the ramp for the Mid Atlantic title. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on the ramp, man. The ramp, <laughs> the saying. ramp's heel turn was incredible. So <laughs> the Mid Atlantic All Transcontinental Underground Railroad Championship yeah. of the world. Oh, yeah, gonna exactly. lay, they're just gonna um, lay the belt on the ramp, and it's just gonna like just... heel turn of the year, man. The ramp on the on, on, on <laughs> Dale, Brian Dales. Brian Dales <laughs> towards MCL. It's crazy. <laughs> um, no other real thoughts. Um, I do agree with you, E. I wish like. I would have booked it as 
Ethan Page trying to use his speed advantage against Miro because he's not as strong as Miro, but he's not like Fuego Del Sol versus Miro. Right. So he has a little bit of strength, but he has a lot more speed. So you would think being on American top team, they would have coached him, be faster, you know, ha- have your high impact offense. But then he just at some point gets caught. And then a spinning back kick. And next thing you know, he's tapping. That that's how I would have booked it. Yeah, I think but, they tried yeah. to make it. They tried to make his strikes more legit because of the tag team. And I was like, eh, not not a good yeah. Yeah. positioning. That's where that MMA becomes problematic. Stuff yeah. like this, they Get gotta force UFC it in there. See out of my wrestling. Yeah, so I was about to say he hates the <laughs> hates the MMA, but this is why though it becomes problematic because when you got a team that's advertised like um, the, the, the America's tag, top tag team, whatever. They top tag, whatever. <laughs> Look, he's like, get that right. shit out of my, get that out of my wrestling. When you got they America's got, team of tag wrestling, right? Exactly. That used to be MMA fighters, <laughs> and they got to get that MMA shit in, man. And then make it'll. It t- I don't. I, I wasn't sitting in backstage when they booked this, but I'm sure they were like. I got to look, I got, like you said, I got to get my shit in. Like, I got to get, I got to get my shots in. I got to get my shit that looks real. And that happened with them doing all the, like, it's easier to do that with them having a match full of rest holds and slower pace versus the way that y'all booked it out, which would have been way more entertaining than what would exactly. than what happened. That kind right. of brute match, brute versus And then speed. they tried to put more MMA in my wrestling. I was about uh, to say, speaking of which, a great uh, segue. Then... They they not only gave us that, but then they randomly had Wart logo against four hundred uh, red shirts. If you're a fan <laughs> of Star Trek, you understand the reference. <laughs> and just like you, Ensign Sulu, go over there and face Wardlow. And Wardlow, hey man, applause to Wardlow, man. He beat the case. No, he beat the case literally. No, that's white privilege. That's <laughs> all that shit was. <laughs> The justice system is not built for us. So when they see us, when we see Wardlow, that's what his new movie is going to be. That's bullshit. When Wardlow, he, he like, come on, let's be real. He wasn't even pinning people right. People are laying on their backs, on their stomachs. I'm like, that counts as a pin? This is dumb. I just tuned out. I was like, this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I was like, man, fuck Wardlow. Fuck Middlefield. Fuck Pizza Hut. Uh, smart Mark, sure. Fuck you too. You're white. I'm mad. I I hated that shit. I thought that was so egregious. It was. Silly. Uh, again, I was like, am I the only person that hates this? Maybe I am, but again, that AEW crowd is not for me. That's probably why I've not been to a a live event currently. So that you say. And then Dan Lambert cut a promo. Saying, oh, you're not so tough. You got to worry about American Top Team. We might be in the skybox. We might be front row. We might be backstage. And then they cut to Tyron Woodley and Matt Hughes, who is not looking in good condition right now. And he, Dan Lever says, know hey. He was Matt Hughes. You know, he was a yeah. crowd member. He's like, He's like hey, He's Matt, like, Matt Hughes, Hughes Tyron Woodley, get in oh, there and shit. mess him up. And then you see that Matt Hughes can barely walk. And then it becomes apparent, oh, yeah, they're not going to do anything. Because Matt Hughes can't all. walk. And Tony Khan does not want that liability on his heart. On his heart. Hell no. And then Wardlow does E's favorite thing. Cuts a promo. Oh, <laughs> says, hey, leaves. you guys look like some good Midwest boys like me. You guys want to fight? But no, you're not going to take orders from a rich asshole. And then they threw Smart Mark sky out. Bucks. And it was terrible. Yeah. Shout to Smart Mark for taking that power bomb. But yeah. the whole thing was terrible. It was just bad. It's just weird, man. It's stuff. weirdly booked. When you add badly, MMA no, not weirdly, wrestling, badly it sucks. <laughs> it just it just looked weird. Keep like, that MMA like, out of Ethan Ray's wrestling. Why is he Back. like beating up all these foot soldiers from Power Rangers? Like they're t- teenage mutant ninja turtles. The foot the soldiers would have stood a better chance. They were they putties. Have, they might as well have like uh, little button presses on their chest. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, 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 power ooh, 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 ooh. Right. That's what it was like. <laughs> I saw because as, as soon as you said you had asked in the chat, e, like if me or Dub had saw it, that was the first thing I went and watched when I watched it. I'm like, was this shit that bad? I'm like, yeah, this is weird. Like it was like I don't know. It was unnecessary. I like, was truthfully I looking down at my phone the entire. I would you call this a match? A case? 
I don't know. Okay. <laughs> how, they were calling how it a case. Step on, how can you step on somebody's uh, spine and then that be counted as a pin? It shouldn't. I don't know. I, I feel like they were step. saying every time like it, you eliminate somebody that like their case had been dismissed or something. I don't know. But again, <laughs> Dub, you're stepping Judge on their about. spine. That means their nipples and their stomach is on the mat. You can't do that in wrestling. Wrestling has rules. It's your shoulders, shoulders. on, right? This or was submission. a court case, Ethan. This was a court case. Oh, a okay. Match. Judge so, Warlow. So presiding. in a court case, the so I feel like look, basically this was booked horribly. This there was better. It was a better uh, match that was like. Kobe Bryant versus the judge, and it was like, play for your freedom. That was the best <laughs> shit I ever thought about happening uh, with Dave Chappelle said it. I would prefer that if they was like, hey, Wardlow, go against uh, George Washington and, <laughs> and Abraham Lincoln. And you got to go against the forefathers to dismiss this case, or a bunch of lawyers, like people in suits, just yeah. like uh, Cody Rhodes, and start spearing them and throwing their ass around. But you just got a bunch of jobbers and and staff shirts, and you just stack them <laughs> on top of each other, all homoerotic like, and then step on them. Lord knows, world. I was like, oh, this is so bad that I think if this was Cunnilingus, a woman would have stopped them and kicked them out and said, oh, "Hey, no. go practice your skills." Oh no! So, and with that, I will see myself out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, um, I don't, I don't even know where to go from there, BA. Yeah, that was. I don't either. That man. was epic. War, I was, yeah, that was an epic breakdown. Um, Warlow needs to stop. That's all I'm gonna say. They need to stop that if they want us to take him serious. They were doing so well with him too, man. Were they? And I'm, were I they? thought it was book getting booked to the moon. We were last when the last show I was on two weeks ago. We were talking about if this man was gonna be in the conversation for the AEW title or the TNT title. Now they got we, him. Out we knew, we knew that's where they were taking him. That doesn't mean they did a good job getting him there. Well, I don't know, man. The, the, the MJF stuff wasn't that bad. I mean, MJF put him over pretty nice. Like I've he never did. seen MJF take an L like he took. Exactly. So he did what he was supposed to do, and that shit's been going on since AEW started this whole Warlow's like owned by MJF thing, right? So yes, and and I want to say that basically. This was just like prepudescent white male fantasy shit. Yes. The booking was just like, oh my gosh, if I had all the powers, I'd be like Wardlow <laughs> and Wardlow and I'd type like this on my computer. I love it. And we were just like, as uh, three grown black men sitting there, like, what is this shit? This is corny. <laughs> this is whack. Like, I've never thought about this like this didn't feel good to me it didn't make me feel empowered i was like this is lame but again like i said it's not for us most of the times so with that said i at least like that scorpio sky was just kind of present so they, they gave me what i needed it's like hey hey and for the blacks here you go scorpio sky with a lakers championship I'm like, oh that's why all right cool that's cool get his brahma sure. bull title on that's cool yeah but that Warlow shit was dead on arrival. Anywho. Yeah, killed him. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was bad. It was it was bad. All right, um, what else we got on this list? Uh, we've been through most of it, guys. You got I mean, you guys want to talk about, about the Money in the Bank match coming up? I mean, you want to wait till next oh. week on that because they're gonna fill it. They're gonna fill in the spots by the time we record. You want to tease week. it a little bit before we? You want to tease it a little bit? A little tease, a little appetizer. So. So <laughs> Seth Rollins appetizer. secured his spot, but I think he's the only one on the men's side that has secured his spot so far. On the women's side, Lacey Evans has secured her spot oh. as the MAGA trooper in the match. January uh, 6th. <laughs> this is January 6th. And That's about to be your nickname. <laughs> this is January 6th. I like that. Oh, and then... In a weird tag team match, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan secured their spots. I still have no clue what's going on with Alexa Bliss. I don't think they don't she either. Does either. They nobody does. <laughs> Lo, this is where you put that south that south uh, blast in. Wait, nobody wait. does, <laughs> or whatever and, he. And, <laughs> and and then think about this: Who did they go over on? Dewdrop 
and Nikki and Nikki. I'm not saying that right. I said shit. Mm. And they were trying to make them mm. a thing, and they just like, hey, we don't care anymore. The WWE is in in lack of direction at all at, at every turn, and it's like, well, it's, think, it's well, think about it, e. so bad. Think about it. They gave their top guy permission to take the entire summer off, and then they lost their, their top two faces in the matter of a week. Then they they, they lost the a whole title belt with baby oil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they lost a whole title belt with a, a whole women's title division with tag titles. Once they suspended Sasha and Naomi, and our Bailey still isn't back yet. Ronda's awful. Ugh. Oh, he is still we trying to, talk to figure about it out. Ronda. Have you realized that it's been how long it's has it been? It's been like unwatchable a e, month, that's why. and we haven't said anything about Rhonda. She said, "You know what, Shotzi, you're on ski. You're on ski." Oh God! Oh, that was when I checked out. I said, that, I that was I when never. I never I came out. there. I never went. <laughs> Check out. I, I wasn't I wasn't checking in, but like I was like, all right, I need to, I need to at least know what's happening. I left my ticket at and home. then they showed me that clip, and I was like, yeah, I'm back out. I I can't do this. I'm not here for this ride the title run. Wake me up and when Charlotte Shotzi. walks back through those damn curtains, man. Wake me up when Charlotte Shotzi. comes back. I don't give up. I'm not watching this shit. You can't no. pay me to watch. Ronda or Bailey come and take that. Title. Somebody got to take that title like, off of her, man. Bailey. I hope, but I think she'll just break Bailey's arm on accident, and then be like, "Oh, sorry, guys, you another one on the shelf. Make room for Bailey, months. guys." Right? <laughs> oh my god! Hope the shelf shelf's getting full. I feel so bad for for those women fans because they gotta watch. Like, I feel bad for all the fans. Let's let's keep it real because we are big fans of the women's title as well. When it's um, people of Put note, properly. Yeah, yeah, like Bianca had it, Sasha had it. Um, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, etc. Even the shit that Charlotte was doing, she was still coming, going hard on the mic, and then she was wrestling a, a match. And you was like, maybe I don't think she should have won, but she was putting it in. I don't want to see Ronda Rousey. Like, don't speak words. I, and I know I give uh, I give Bobby Lashley a hard time, and it's mostly jokes. But Bobby Lashley looks the part. Bobby Lashley could still use a mouthpiece. I think it's just better for him. Um, but Ronda, my God, they don't want to even sign uh, Paige back to be Ronda's mouthpiece, which is perfect. And just mm-hmm. let Ronda sit there, do her bouncing up and down, and then go like karate kick somebody in the face and then let Paige talk so her bad. shit. Nope. They're like, oh, we're going to let your contract expire. And I think she might be cleared. So we may actually get Paige. No, she's not cleared. She's not cleared. Through WWE. I have a feeling she's going to be showing up wrestling for a different company. I mean, because that's what. Exactly. Because that's what Daniel Bryan wasn't clear for the longest until he said, hey, I think I'm ready and I'm going to leave this place. And he's like, oh, you can magically wrestle right now. (laughs) Who cares about your brain? It's not gelatin. You right, can do yeah. it. And then the, the first thing they did when they cleared him to wrestle was let KO powerbomb him on the apron. Oh, yeah. Next. They're like, we got to get our money's worth. Let's test this out. <laughs> like, but, just in case. <laughs> let's try to paralyze him. Win win. <laughs> um, but yeah. I got this stack of non disclosure agreements, uh, Daniel, if you want to <laughs> grab grab the top one right into there. There you go. Yeah, there we go. John, why do you have a stack of them? Don't worry about uh, it. Hey, hey, ignore <laughs> that. Right. Oh, ignore oh. that. Right. <laughs> hey, this one's already signed by. Oh, oh don't, 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 don't. Let me have that. Let me have that era, son in law. Right. Sick. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, I, can you imagine, I was like, can you imagine going into that office after I need a new season of Total Bellas right now. This is this is oh. to, to continue the, the creepiness of Johnny Ace, the legend of the creepiness. Didn't he find the Bella Twins and like the yes. Victoria's Secret? Yes, yes, that's what. Yeah, yes. yeah. I've heard Cordette say it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, and like in so the creepiest creepy. way possible, it was like fiending over them. Oh, oh, hey Vince, did you see the spring edition of the Vicky Secret models? catalog oh my god it's in the bathroom but I'm not but not to give anything. vince too much cover but look at page did you guys, 52 did you guys see in that thread oh. i sent you the only reason he signed gail yeah. kim is because someone told him that 
men watch Asian porn. And he didn't. No, say, he, didn't uh, he didn't know that was Asians. a thing. Uh, Asians could never add their own category. <laughs> what, Vince? <laughs> like, my gosh, the racist. <laughs> oh, man. That is. Yeah. He brought racism to porn. I, that's, that's amazing. Even for him. That is amazing. I that's mean, the most racist industry of the porn. Yeah, I was just about he to brought say, his like, brand like, up. Have it. you looked at. <laughs> he brought his brand of racism to porn. <laughs> That's that like glory slavery, just racism, just right. <laughs> old school. When black people are referred to as ebony, that's just <laughs> weird. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> like, that's my cousin's name. Why is that? A... Like, you just got a whole category of this? It's like ebony. Like, what? Speaking Hot of Vincent that. racism, yeah. in 2005. Yuck. Vince was going to do a full KKK gimmick while Chavo was doing the Kermit gimmick. You guys remember that? No. Chavo had this gimmick in 2005 where he was Kermit White. And he would drive around the golf course with a sweater tied around his neck and just pronounce that he was a white man and not Mexican. And he had, didn't he have like Eminem blonde hair too? Yes. I love it. Yes. Yeah, it was bad. That was terrible. So was the KKK going to like allow him in it or they were going to chase him away? (laughs) That's the better question. Like where was this gimmick going? advertiser saw. Yes. I would need to know. And more, and more Vince news. In 2003, Vince wanted Matt to team with Mark Henry and Talk like a talk black person. Like. You know, I love talk that. You know, I, I love uh, when somebody messed drive. up, man. Uh. The, the cancellation of Vince McMahon is going to be epic. And Matt was supposed to so talk about how stories. he was being held down by the man. There we go. Yeah, his like, oh yeah. my god, my nigga. <laughs> Sorry, <Dude. laughs> that that I bet Sorry, you that I, clip I, is going to be going. Booker around. said I could say it. Right, and then Booker, <laughs> you did not just say that. He did but, that live in Detroit. No, I did, my nigga. Make sure you add another zero on that check if you going to say that. Right. All I'm saying. <laughs> five, zeros, five zeros. Five zeros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Gosh. I'm here for the Vince cancellation stories, man. That's crazy. Probably. But then I'll, at this point, I don't even know what the writers and what anybody. If Vince is gone, I don't think we can book the territory with what will be to come because... Sports oh, entertainment do, do, is a dangerous think, place. Do you think Vince without Triple H or Vince? Like do you Triple think H Vince is the disappears, guy. Disappears, E. You think he does not come out of this? Publicly traded hey, company, E. I, I mean, this might kill him. Traded company, B. A. Like this yeah, might kill him. True. Yeah, you don't play that stock. Only thing that keeps either. Vince going is like copious amounts of steroids sex. and the cocaine and that Tony doesn't sex, have. Sex, not with his wife, no. and. You know, wrestling, booking the territory. So, if you take that away from him, he's going to be just doing thousand pound squats, which is going to mess up his circulation, explode his kneecaps, and he's probably going to kill. Yeah, he's going to just ain't, tear ain't both. Ain't enough quads. blue chew in the world to save him from that one. <laughs> in that scenario, <laughs> you know, the quads are so stiff. <laughs> Bruce Pritchard is like, "Hey, uh, Conrad Thompson gave me these blue chews. You want to try them, Vince?" Yeah, give me that some shit. All. <laughs> right. Blue Chew. Uh, Vince, I don't think you're supposed to take five. I'm Vince and Vince, McMahon, I definitely don't think it. you're supposed to snort them. I want. <laughs> Vince, I can see your heart pumping through your shirt. Right. It looks like you just sucked a Smurf through your nose, Vince. Why is your nose so blue? <laughs> Shut up, damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Your... Fire and turn in here. Get in my office. Grab that piece of paper that says NDA on top of it. <laughs> Sit in this corner. Oh, Close God. the door, Johnny Ace. <laughs> I, I think I think we're done with this week of wrestling. I think there's no yeah. there's no more juice to squeeze. Yeah. Except for if you go to Johnny Ace's house. There it is. I'm not doing it. There so. it is. There it is. <laughs> wow. Um BA, tell them. Where they can find you, sir. Oh, when I am not potting with these gentlemen and the illustrious J Mo, whenever he returns, um, I do a uh, another podcast on the side um, called I 71 Fast Break. We just released an episode last week. 
Um, we partnered up with a gentleman named Nate Cook of the Trophy Kids podcast. Um, since he's a, a Boston guy, so we wanted him on our show to talk NBA Finals. He has some interesting cry. takes. No, nah, he was at the time. This is when Boston was up. This is a, this is a positive episode. So you should call him and be like, "What up, bitch?" <laughs> <laughs> If, if if he wasn't a cool dude, I would I would definitely I was kind of talking shit to because it's Boston. oh you got to that, that's how you key. become friends that's how oh, males yeah. become friends absolutely What's up, bitch he's like yes. oh man my girl just left me because you, you were weak as bitch that's like right. the Celtics and you cry and then you that makes you feel better bitch. yeah that's you how friends are friends I get it but oh, yeah absolutely but um but yeah so him and then my brother Matt made his podcast debut um he he gave some uh, good takes. And uh, Deshaun Watson talk, so um, it was pretty uh, oh, yeah. slippery slopeish. So you talk about penalty box. I think all of us would have been in the penalty box after that episode. So I think I might so, have yeah. tuned in. <laughs> tuned in to I'm that. Tuned in and to that then, um, you know, follow us on the on on Twitter. I'm here at Let Me Book Pod. I'm still out here running that. Um, and then the Twitter page for I71 Fast Break I71 FB. And uh, go check out my brother's uh, hemp wrap products at these blunts. These blunts. <laughs> uh, So, yes. Yeah, so, check them out. But that's where you can find me. And that's what I got going on. Hey, uh, every Tuesday. Make sure you don't close the show this time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> all right. I'm done talking. <laughs> Fuck you. Like, all right. Every Tuesday, you can find Everything me. wrestling. Peace. <laughs> Every Tuesday, you can find me and the homie John at the Embrace the Turn Up podcast, talking cash shit about everything. Me pissing him off about the Lakers. Last episode, we talked about our epic trip to Puddin' Bay, where I got to judge an ass shaking contest with NWL Tank. Best moment of my life. Second best moment of my life. Um, other than that, ADUB1220. If you're looking for me on IG or on Twitter, go to EmbraceTheTurnUp.com and get you some merch. And. Other than that, what else? Oh, Bench Flicks and Chill. I was on the last episode where we were talking about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And we explained to y'all how he gets no holes in every universe. And, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's what I got. E-Ray, tell him where you at. Or should I just hit stop again? I mean, <laughs> if, if you want to cut me off and miss all this greatness, I understand. But it is I, the quasi-bad guy, the Diet Coke of evil, the man of seven eighths teeth, the uh, American cream Brody loads. You can find me at e underscore r a y. The bad guy on Instagram, posting my uh, fitness journey of me being sad from not being able to bench as much as I should. Just feel like I can just walking out of bed for no reason, no training at all. Um, you can also find me at e underscore r a y the hipster on Twitter either talking about wrestling or watching filth because those are my favorite things uh not to mention as a dub alluded to we just had the release of one of the last episodes of the season for binge flicks and chill you can find that at the inaudible ruckus podcast rss feed binge flicks and chill the most recent episode with a dub the pod god as well as producer low and spoiler man ivan we had uh Doctor Strange talk, which was labeled uh, Scarlet Witch really loves the kids um, <laughs> and all that entails. Um, you can you can listen to that good shit and you can go find the merch at www.inaudibleruckus.com forward slash binge dash and dash chill where you can get the cool tank top that I'm currently wearing. If we were having a video podcast, you'll be able to see this. Uh, you also can get the other shirts and tanks that are available now for the for the first merch drop love it go guys buy a shirt um but other than that as dub says everything is wrestling to sweet me when you see me and uh stay away from the madness Ooh yeah and we're out Peace.